I look up every now and again and I go, wow, I haven't done a video in a couple of days. And then I go, well, let's let's recap what it what happened in my life that I need to be recapping. And then it slowly hits me that nothing, nothing happened like this has been my day. You know, I have been out of work since the end of June, collecting unemployment since July. So here it is, September. I had all of August. I had all of June. No, no, end of June. I had all of July and all of August off. And here we are now in the first week of September. Yeah, September. And I just, I haven't been to work, so I don't have amusing work stories to tell, but Asia does, so I get a lot of amusing work stories from her. Um, what I can tell you is that today, I received a call from the drug testing facility for the interview. I can't even call it an interview. If you watch my shit, you know I walked in, they were like, holy shit, it's Patrick Harris. We're just going to make you an offer. And they made me an offer, and my offer letter was clearly for today, but they haven't, like, it was, there was a hold up. I had to submit some shit before they could do the background. They did the background. So I got a call from the drug test people today, and they were like, hey, we're in charge of your drug test. Um, I was half sleep and half ass listening. She said something, uh... Uh, the amount of marijuana in your system can't be 15-somethings. She was like, I don't know. I don't want to say liters or grams or what. I don't know what it was, but it was the number couldn't be 15. Okay, sure. She was like, yours was 14.55. And she said, well, I have to report this to your employer. And I was like, okay, sure. But you have... Weed's legal in California. That's not really a big deal at all. Like, I remember having this exact same talk when I started at Intercon. This was last year. Uh, they called me and they were just like, hey, you uh, you failed your drug test. Yeah, well, you tested positive for THC. What do you want us to do? I was like, send it to them. And I went to work. I even called the I called the job. I was like, "Hey, you know, tested positive. What's up?" They were like, "Because marijuana is fucking legal in in California. It's not a big deal." Like Asia went. Asia works for the same company, and uh, to her credit, I was so proud of her. Uh, when they were like, hey, we're drug testing, like, everybody else at her job was like, oh, we need to get synthetic pee, we need to get somebody in here, because we're not about to lose our jobs, and Asia was just like, I ain't worried about it, not only am I not gonna worry about synthetic pee and trying to trick a drug test, she had some with me the night before, and she went in, and in their presence, peed in front of the cup and gave it to them, and they looked, and they were like, okay, so, sure, like, so I know for a fact, Either one, triple canopy don't give a shit about drugs or like they're fucking up when it came to Asia and her position. So we'll see. We'll see. Like I am in no way worried about it at all. Like worst case scenario, let's say things went horribly wrong and I just can't go back to work like right away. Then I would just fall back on my original plan, which was to sit back on my unemployment for the rest of the year. Like... Tax time's going to come around, and we're going to be good. Like, we were looking at the numbers, and it was like, for the money that we made this year, just to now, our taxes should look wonderful this year. Well, for next year. And we're just going to pay off all our stuff so we can get the power more for kind. We're just going to take care of everything in one WAP, so it's not the kind of thing we have to be concerned about when the time comes, you know? So... Even if it didn't work out. So, like, we'll just continue to do what we're doing. And then tax time will roll around and I'll fucking apply the other shit. And, like, we'll be fucking fine. Like, Asia does well. I do well. Oh, well, unemployment-wise, I do well. But I'm also a security guy. And I walked into this place. It would be... It would be a little disheartening for me to walk in and they were treating me like I was John Cena. And then... To be told, oh, I can't get the job because I had an edible, you know? But not even a concern. Like, 
that's where we are in life right now, where even if everything went horribly wrong right now, like I just, they called me and was like, hey, Patrick, we can't give you this job. Guess I'll stay home and play video games and keep writing. Sure. You know, and then sometime next year, I'll go back to work. Or I could try to apply somewhere else. Or I could wait a bit and then I could apply a triple canopy again. Like, I have no doubt things are going to work out. It's like, I've given up on that, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, how are things going to be? I heard a quote recently, two quotes that I'll share with you. Um, One, I was watching an interview with CM Punk, who has been a bitter bitty for a very long time, but now he's much calmer. And he was very specific. He was just, I'm, I'm, I just don't rush to the red light anymore. Like, I could get real upset and bent out of shape and race to the red light, but the people you cut off and rush past, you're just going to see them at the light anyway. And so, what was the point? So, one, I don't rush to the red light anymore. Like, I could worry and go, oh, oh my God, what are we going to do? How's it going to be? What are we going to do? But fuck that. Like, it always works out. So, I ain't fucking worried about it. Um, The other one that I really liked, I actually heard it, I think it was in a YouTube video. And you can you can take it however you want. I'll, I'll tell you, and then I'll tell you how I take it. Uh, the quote is, quote, no hocus pocus, just focus. End quote. Thought that was fantastic. I took that as no hocus pocus, as in I don't need magic. Or I don't need an invisible anybody to step in as timeless and spaceless and immaterial to make course corrections for my life. I just focus and I get it done. And that's what I do. I focus and I get shit done. Like, my son's a teacher. Wow. Like, there's nothing else you can say to me. My son is a teacher. My wife is on her way to becoming a doctor. And she's a, right now she's a security guard and she's in line to be lieutenant. Like her, her captain is like, I want you in charge while I'm gone. Like she's respected at work. And let's say she wasn't. Let's just say that they, they, she was just another name, another face, a number, number. Let's say she was just guard for it. Don't affect her paycheck in any way. Like she go to work, she do her business. She come home. That's, that's what grown folks do. You go to work, you handle it, you get home and my baby will be home in a couple of hours and we'll kick it. So, I don't know what that that call meant this morning. Like, it didn't mean anything the last time I got a call like that. So, and if I recall, it took Asia a couple of days to finally get in there good after she got hired by Intercon. So, we'll see what happens. Like, but either way, man, you know, I'm about to turn on my video game. So, fuck it with none of this, this worry bullshit. All is well.